Masca Exploration is aggressively pursuing the development of its 100% owned Wabushi Lithium Project in the James Bay area of northern Quebec, a 25 million ton lithium deposit known to be one of the largest resources of its kind in the world. The Wabushi property is ideally situated for development, lying 280 kilometers northwest of the town of Chibugamu. The site is situated in the traditional territory of the Cree community of Namaska, who have given the project their full support as long-term shareholders in the company. The project is serviced by a nearby airport, lodging and services center, all-season road, power lines running to the property, and ample water supply. The Wabushi property covers 1,716 hectares, ample land to secure potential lateral extensions of the known deposit. When Namaska acquired Wabushi in 2009, the project had only five historic drill holes. In the two years that followed, Namaska completed 115 drill holes totaling 22,000 meters, 143 surface channels, and 2,780 kilometers of mechanical stripping of contact. Based on this and other exploration data, Namaska completed a mineral resource model in 2011 that confirms the Wabushi deposit as the largest and second richest measured spodumene deposit in the world. The deposit contains measured and indicated resources of 25 million tons at an average grade of 1.54% lithium oxide. This resource is a 255% increase from the company's 2010 9.8 million ton measured and indicated resource, which was the basis for the company's March 2011 11 preliminary economic assessment. The 2011 PEA suggested an open pit operation with a throughput of 2,950 tons per day and a mine life of 15 years, producing a 6% spodumene concentrate, most likely for buyers in China. The Wabushi pit would measure 1,300 meters long by 320 meters deep. The known mineralization extends to a depth of 520 meters. The deposit remains open at depth and to the east. Based on a spodumene concentrate price of $280 per ton, the mine is expected to generate an average annual revenue of $56 million or $849 million over an initial 15-year mine life. This translates to a pre-tax net present value of $184 million and an IRR of 26.6%. The project's capital costs would total just $86 million, including contingency and working capital. With the recently updated resource estimate of 25 million tons of ore, Wabushi's mine life will jump to 25 years. This will dramatically improve the project's economics and simultaneously lower its operating costs. The project also benefits from outcropping along a ridge 40 meters above the surrounding topography. This allowed the mine plan to include a starter pit of about 5.4 million tons with a stripping ratio of just 0.8 to 1. As such, the first five years of mining will have exceptionally low-cost production. Drilling at Wabushi has confirmed the high grades and continuity of mineralization in the main zone of this lithium-rich deposit. Drilling has also confirmed the presence of smaller dikes to the south of the main zone. Here are a few typical intercepts from drilling results obtained to date. 100.9 meters grading 1.45% lithium oxide. 65.34 meters at 1.75% lithium oxide, 75.6 meters at 1.94% lithium oxide, 98.4 meters at 1.69% lithium oxide, 88.3 meters at 1.67% lithium oxide. Hole WHA 10066 contained 79.2 meters grading 1.61% lithium oxide. This hole was an important discovery for Namaska in that it confirmed mineralization at a depth of over 500 meters, which was not included in the present pit design. The recent resource estimate will contribute to a full feasibility study expected by year-end 2011. Namaska is pressing forward with an aggressive development plan for the Wabushi property. Permitting began in the summer of 2011. Engineering, ground preparation, the ordering of large equipment units and construction activities will begin in 2012. And having already secured a $3.7 million private placement deal with Chengdu Xiangqi Industry Group, owner of the largest lithium battery chemical producer in China, Namaska plans to start production of the mine in 2013.